All right, Unreal Engine 5.6 is out, and that means so is MetaHuman Creator. So like, subscribe, and let's jump into it. Okay, to get started, the first thing you do is download Unreal Engine 5.6, and then click on this little arrow, go over to Options, and make sure that MetaHuman Creator Core data is checked. Once that's all done, click Apply and Launch. Okay, once this pops up, these are just presets, so it doesn't really matter what you create. But for me, I am going to go over to Games, uh, Third Person. I'll just name this Meta Human Creator, and then click Create. So now that Unreal Engine has opened up, the next thing we can do is add on some plugins to kind of get the Meta Human Creator into our project. So to do that, go over to Edit, go down to Plugins, and then just type in Meta Human. Might, might be nice if I click on the search bar. Uh, so now these are all the things you need to enable. So just go to from the top and just keep checking all of these. If any of this pops up, just click yes. It's just warning you about beta and experimental. Uh, once that's done, just go over here and click restart now and it'll restart your project. Okay, so now that our Unreal project has opened back up, the next thing you can do is do control space to open up the content browser. I'm gonna go over to content and then I'm just gonna right click, go over to MetaHuman right here and click MetaHuman character. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna name this um, Sophia and click out. Now that that is created, as I open this up, you're gonna have some project settings that pop up. These are all project settings that you need to enable. Um, so now that this has just popped up, I'm going to minimize it real quick go over to the missing project settings and go to click enable missing. This is now gonna prompt us to restart. So unfortunately, again, restart one more time. All right, so now that we have restarted Unreal Engine our final time, I'm gonna do control space to go back to our MetaHuman character and double click. So when it first opens up, this is what you are going to see. Um, which is the head portion of the options here on the left. You have body, presets, head, materials, hair and clothing, and then assembly. At the top, you have the save with a search, as well as create full rig, create joints only rig, and download texture sources, and then refresh preview. Over here on the right, you have the animation preview, um, as well as grooms, visible or hidden, and then outfit, clothing, visible or hidden, uh, the hidden is going to be uh, basically allowing you to hide the clothing and the hair and the eyebrows, stuff like that. Next up here on the top right, topology, uh, clay, and skin are all different options that are available to you. Uh, you can do studio lighting if you want while you're creating your character. Um, I'm actually probably going to do this lighting right here. Next, you can do auto, which is just switching from the camera. Uh, LODs, which is level of detail. Uh, zero is fine. And then also rendering quality. Um, mine is currently running at Epic. So when it comes to creating your character, in my opinion is the best place to start is up here on the top left with presets. Now, when I click on this, this should look familiar to anyone who's used MetaHuman in the past. Um, these are all the presets that MetaHuman has offered up into the past. You can click a preset to kind of get you started. And then from there, you can adjust your character as needed. So in my case, I am going to click Tuya. All right, so now that my character has fully rendered in, the next thing we can do is actually switch off the outfit so we can see the body and be able to adjust it in our next tab over here. So now I'm gonna click on body. Now there's one main thing I do wanna call out is with the outfit clothing on, every time you make an adjustment to your character, it's going to require you to load. So just to quickly show that real quick before I kind of explain this all, if I just move this down, is now going to pause and load because what it's doing is it's adjusting the outfit to fit the new change in the body. If you don't want to do this while you're creating your character, because I personally find it a little tedious, you can go down to hair and clothing and then scroll all the way down here, click on the actual clothing and just click remove. And now they are removed off the character, not necessarily affecting the character at all, which means you can make adjustments without having to load every time. So now I'm going to head back up to body and then I'll explain this section. This section is basically designed to blend 
your character between three different presets. Again, if you're used to MetaHuman in the past, this is something they've used and it is not any, uh, uh, a, it's not a new UI. So in my case, I'm gonna take Era, bring that up, Vivian and Tuya. And then if you click on any of these little circles on the body, you can now adjust the character based on that preset. So all the way right here would be exactly how that preset is designed. And now you can blend these shapes to get the desired look you want. So I'm just gonna go through and adjust my character based on these changes. Okay. So now that my character is in a good spot, the next thing we can do is go over to the model tab. If anyone's curious about the conform tab, I'm not going to be going over it, but it's basically what allows you to adjust your character based on uh, any real life person or data from someone you've gathered. Um, so in the modeling mode, what you can do is you can now fine tune all the different changes to your character. The main one though that you wanna watch out for is this right here, which is the broadly defined masculine or feminine traits. What happens here is the more you adjust this, the more these other values all below it will be adjusted to being more masculine or feminine uh, in their value range. Uh, the reason this is, is because obviously their body types are different. So for example, for the chest, if you want it to be more masculine, you would push it all the way over here, which means adjusting the chest isn't necessarily giving your character breasts. Uh, so if I go back over here to making it more feminine, it's now reading that parameter as something that should add breasts, not necessarily give like pectoral muscles, uh, which is the difference here. So if you're ever not kind of getting the look you want, you can always switch it over to being more feminine and then adjusting from there. Uh, so now that that is done, I'm just going to make some fine tunings to the character to kind of get the overall look that I am going for. Also to orient yourself around your character to kind of get different angles, you can left click to drag across and kind of spin the character. You can middle click to go up, down, left, and right. And you can scroll with your um, middle click either backwards or forwards to zoom in and out. So in the head section, again, this is gonna start off with blend. You can go over here and I'm just gonna add era, um, Vivian and Tuya, just kind of show how you can do it. You can adjust the character um, based on the different parameters to be exactly what you want. Now, in my case, I don't really want these changes, so I can just skip over to transform. So now in the transform section, how this works is you can slowly manipulate the uh, direction of or pieces of your character um, by transforming their position. This is really helpful when it comes to kind of making any fine tune adjustments. And then even more so you can do sculpt, which then lets you actually adjust certain areas of your character. Like if you want them to have a higher bridge of the nose or fuller lips and things like that. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go back over to transform and just adjust my character using these parameters. Okay, and then I can go over to Sculpt to make any fine tune adjustments there. Perfect, and then the last one is teeth and eyelashes. You can adjust the teeth here. 
teeth length, um, as well as the variation of the teeth, and then the jaw open or close when it comes to checking out and designing the teeth the way you want them. And then you can shoot over here to eyelashes and adjust the eyelashes. In my case, I'm going to add these to my character. Now that that is done, you can shoot over here to materials and adjust things like skin, eyes, makeup, and teeth and eyelashes. So I'm going to go over here first to skin tone. This is where you can change the actual color of the skin. Um, then over here, you can change the body texture, which is going to be the overall uh, texture of the skin. You can adjust this any way you want to get different values out of it. Uh, whether your character is older or younger. I'm going to keep mine at one. Next, you can do use uh, texture index filters. This is helpful because if I just change this face texture index over here on the left, you're going to see uh, some things that aren't necessarily what I'm looking for. So for like 127, if I don't want older people, I can adjust for that. And then also some of these right there uh, have uh, stubble as the face texture, which is also something that I would rather avoid considering there are 152 different options. So what you can do is click on the filter, uh, go to face wrinkles, click low, click none and low for face stubble and face marks. And now when I'm going through the character, there are a little less options for me to choose from and are all more in line with what I am looking for. Okay, and I will move forward with this. Next, I can go over here to roughness to kind of make the face shiny or rough. I'm going to be a little closer on the rough side. And then if you ever wanted to remove the top half of this underwear, so it's actually part of the character, uh, but sometimes when you're adding on clothes, this will show under the clothes, which is a little weird and not something you want. If you ever wanted that removed, you can just click right here. Uh, to remove the top underwear um, and behind is, is just a base mannequin body. Um, and then if you zoom in here, you can adjust the freckles here. So I'm going to increase the density, decrease the strength, increase the strength, saturation, maybe high strength, the density, and then adjust the skin just slightly like that. And then here you can also change different accents. So if you want it to be red right here under the eyes, you can. And then for the cheeks, you can also add in some redness if you want to adjust your character. And then lightness as well. So now that that is done, you can shoot over to eyes. And in eyes, you have the presets right off the bat uh, with different eye colors that you can choose from. I'm going to click on these. And now you can even change the irises or adjust the left and right eyes as well. Um, so just playing around, checking which ones I can see. That all looks good. And then here, um, iris rotation, primary color, secondary color, color blend, all different eye uh, adjustments when it comes to kind of playing around with the way your eyes on your metahuman are going to look. All that looks good to me. And then you can even dilate the pupils if you want, and then feather the difference between pupils and your iris. Now that that is done, you can shoot over to makeup. I'm going to back up a little bit and add some makeup to my character. And then I can also change the color, secondary color, roughness. Uh, roughness will just make this either very dull and matte looking or shiny. Uh, I will be somewhere in the dull area. You can change the opacity as well, so it's not super bright if you don't want it to be. Um, and then the metalness as well, which is going to affect how shiny it ends up. Next is blush. You can add some blush onto your character if you wish, and you can adjust the intensity as needed. I'm going to have mine on the very low end since I already added some redness to her cheeks in general. And then the next one is the lip. You can add in a lip and it looks really intense. So if you don't want it to look that intense, you can go down here, change the color, change the roughness so it's not as bright in your face. And then lastly, the opacity. So it's just very minimal instead of the giant red lip that was on earlier. And then lastly, you again can adjust the teeth and eyelashes as you see fit. 
Next is hair. So hair, unfortunately, doesn't have uh, too many details you can play with. But generally speaking, you can click on any of these hairstyles and eyebrows as well as eyelashes, something you clicked on earlier to set. But if you want to make any adjustments to these, you can also go over here to the details panel. So here's where I would change the hair color or um, the eyelash color of my character. If you had a mustache or a beard, you would also change those things here. So for example, we have the medium uh, bob curly hair, which is the haircut. And if I wanted her hair to be light, I would just reduce the melanin. If I want it to be dark, I would increase the melanin uh, and so on. You can change the redness so it's more of like a red black or you can reduce it so it's more like a blue black, stuff like that. Okay, so now that you're finished creating a metahuman, the last tab here is on the left, which is assembly. And this one will kind of warn you exactly what you need to do. So if you're looking here at the very bottom left, you're gonna see character is not rigged. So all you need to do is go up to the very top and click on create full rig. And now that it is fully rigged at the very bottom, it says the character is missing textures. Use download texture sources to create them before assembling. So all you need to do is go over here and click your texture sources. In this case, you have 2K, 4K, and 8K, uh, which will greatly change the amount of detail in your character. In my case, I'm just gonna move forward with 4K and click. And now that all that is downloaded, if you actually click off of the assembly and go back, you are now gonna see at the very bottom, it says assemble. So now all you need to click is assemble. All right, well, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. As always, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.